They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more. Second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. This defense for the Jets, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. No matter what coverage was called, they were right in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long, step for step, running their routes with them. Turned out they were right there every time the ball was in the air, and they came away with five interceptions in that one. They go play fake. Mahomes. And target here is Matthews. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far. Running, passing, doing what they want on offense. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Here comes the seventh play in this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Mahomes now to throw. And Matthews has it right side. Touchdown, Bengals! A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Cook as they begin on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Cook. 
And he'll get a couple up to the 29. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. Face a second and long following the holding penalty. Working out of the gun, Mills. There's a catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 22 yards there, a first down. They put the defense, put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. A first down throw for Mills. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. The Jets are one and two through the first three weeks of the season. And they got off to the tough 0-2 start, but come off a very important first win of the season last time out. And it's tough when you find yourself in an early season crossroads, but that's exactly where they were. At 0-2, they were thinking, if we fall to 0-3, things can spin out of control. But now at 1-2, they shouldn't feel the need to press out there. They're now back in a good spot. Find a way to win some games and keep moving forward. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. While you admire anyone trying to pick up an additional couple of yards, they're just not worth it when you take shots like that. Quarterbacks have to stay in the game and stay on the field. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run it. Here's Cook. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. now off the read option and able to get him inside the five here just inside the five to about the four 
And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Bengals are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Yellow, yellow. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They fake the give. Now Mahomes rolling to his right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Elijah Morgan. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. So this defense coming up with a takeaway. And maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true. But you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball so maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game they'll bring a receiver in motion right first down here's the run with cook and they're knocking on the door now there's a good run there going to take this to about the 10 yard line 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through him. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On second and seven, Mills. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. Call it a gain of a yard, and it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position, now facing third down. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Bengals are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. The defense looked geared up to stop the run, but obviously, Charles, they were ready for the pass, too. Yeah, they were hoping they could catch everyone crashing and playing the run, but that was a very ill-advised throw right there. The opportunity lost. The Bengals drive about to get going. First and 10, Taylor now. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. In his own end zone, it's Mahomes. 
And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Myers. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. The Bengals bring out their punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. They'll score that a 36-yard punt and the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Complete to Austin here over the middle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They'll run with Cook. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Mills. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. And he completes it to Wilson. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone, first down. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended target, and it's second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes. He finds Wilson. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That's allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Nice job. Nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. And the Jets will take over possession here up at the 44. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. Play action now, Mills. He'll let it fly for Austin. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they're down on the scoreboard. Sort of a sloppy first half. And Coach Davis, if you were in the locker room, what would the message have been? I think I'd have to go with something you don't ordinarily go with in the NFL. That's a fire and brimstone. You've got to fire these guys up. Make them understand what's going on out there. They were so sloppy in the first half. Too many turnovers. Tighten things up. Maybe get in their face a little bit. Get in their grill. And then send them back out. Mills throw pulled in by Jefferson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here. And he also picks up a first down. Throwing Mills. He's got a man complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 30 yards. Cook. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. On second down, it's Cook again. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals 16. 68 yards on the ground for him so far. His drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On third and one, here's Mills. Flush to his right. Touchdown! Calvin Austin, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Jets are an extra point away from evening this one up. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Hello. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep oh, moving. No. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they've missed a golden opportunity. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Open man, that's the tight end, Fryermuth. And they're going to get this up to midfield. And that's on big Mackay Becton, first-round pick in 2020. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Now Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this this is the nfl and it's on ea sports Hello. they'll go again from the three here on second and goal Taylor will get down close to the goal line, but not in, and he's going to be marked down at the one. Here's Taylor again, and he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Jonathan Taylor, his third rushing touchdown of the year, and the Bengals answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Hey. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. From the gun, here's Mills. Open man, he's got Jeff. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. He's got it to Matthews, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Again, it's Taylor. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They go play action. Now Mahomes out to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. Hello. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. To throw, it's Mahomes. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Jets are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error.
On first and 10, Mills. He'll let it fly for Austin. And this one is incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. To throw again on second down. Mills. That's complete. It's Cook. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Mills dancing to his left and that is incomplete partner they've got one chance left to keep this one going and I think for you and me let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it because right here he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive Mills, fourth down, got to have it. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. William Jackson with a pick. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is what they'll plead when it comes time to watch it again. Hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be better for his offense. But how many times do you get a chance to make an interception that you turn it down? That's when your instinct kicks in and you take the football. In this case, a better decision would have been to knock the ball down. Second down, another run with Taylor. They find some open field here. And he will finally be taken down at the Jets' 37-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here. Second and 11. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And with inside of 10 seconds, 8 to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. 
And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that will extend their lead even further. So this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. Charles, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, I mean, we know why those three turnovers by that offense, that's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk to. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W. So for Cincinnati, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll return home next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they'll drop down to 1-3. and three, And they'll try to get back on track next. Got so many memories that I made on Cascade Road.